to start this zombie lookout, I'm just taking this zombie stack. And I got this from Spirit of Halloween, and I'm going to take this red color. And I'm just applying this to the hollows of my neck. And you can kind of figure out where the hollows of your neck are if you suck in and uh, kind of strain your neck a little bit, strain your neck. You can see uh, where the deep parts of your neck are. And that's just what I'm doing. I'm just going in and I'm also applying this to my face as well. I'm just going to be doing some contouring. And this is just like how you would normally do your makeup when you contour, except this is going to be extremely drastic. So go ahead and don't be afraid to apply a ton of that red. And I'm bringing it underneath my eyes and kind of making it look a little bit like I haven't slept in a few years. So I'm just going to bring that down and um, spread it around with the duo fiber brush that I have here. And this is great for clean products, so I'm just going to be blending that in and just finding all of the deep hollows in my face and filling that in with that red color. Now I'm just blending it out and next I'm going to go in with this purpley bruise color and I'm just going to use this to deepen up all of those hollows to give it more of a shadow and this is really good because it does make it look 10 times worse than just applying the red so just go ahead and go right over what you just did and blend that out. Next, I'm just taking this corpse color um, cream makeup that I got from Spirit of Halloween and I'm just going over all that because zombies don't have any pigment in their skin that's um, healthy looking, so I'm just going to make my skin a little bit more gray. Next, I'm going to take that red color again and I'm going to be going over those spots and I'm also going to be going underneath my collarbones because I can definitely see my natural skin and you want to make sure all your skin's covered up. So next I'm going to go back in with that um, bruise colored cream and just keep deepening this up. The key to this zombie look is to just keep going over and over again with those products. Next I'm just going to be hollowing out my nose and contouring it extremely and I'm just taking that along my nose and dragging it up to my eyebrow. Next I'm going to take this zombie dust which I also got from Spirit of Halloween and just set that contour that I did and this is also going to darken it up a lot. Next, I'm going to take this BH palette and I'm going to be taking an assortment of those brown shades. It's nothing specific, just any brown shade that you have will work. And I'm just going to set that contour once again and deepen it up. Next, I'm going to be taking both of these shades and I'm going to start drawing the veins under my eyes. And these are very subtle, they're not super dark veins. We're gonna go in and blend them out so that they look like they're underneath the skin. So if you just wanna make little marks at first and then go back in with a sponge and blend it out, it really does look like veins. Next, I'm just gonna be darkening up underneath my lips. This is gonna make me look skinnier and just shading that out. Next, I'm gonna take a black eyeshadow and just go over that again to deepen up my nose crease and my eyebrows. Next, I'm going to take this Spirit Gum, which I also got from Spirit of Halloween, and I got these wounds also. I'm just going to apply these to my face, my neck, and also my chest. These are pretty um, simple to use if you're not into using um, latex or anything like that, which I've never tried before, but I probably will this month. These are very simple to apply and very easy to take off. Next, I'm just going to go over it with all those colors and just blend it into my skin. You can make this as nasty as you want. I definitely made it pretty nasty. Um, I probably could have done a better job at blending it, but you know, I didn't put enough spirit gum, so it was kind of popping out a little bit. But I'm just gonna go in, darken that up, make it look very bruised and infected, and that's pretty much the key to it, is just keep blending that out. I decided to stick another one of these wounds on my chest because I just wanted to be super gory. And I'm just gonna apply some black 
to these wounds. It's going to make it look like it has more depth, like it's really, really gross and infected. So go ahead and apply this black along the corners. It's just going to give it that extra infected look. Next, I'm just blending it out, doing the same steps as before. I take a cream shade, then I layer the red, then I layer the bruised color, and that's just the process that I go through with this um, zombie stack. Zombie dance, and then I'm just gonna apply the wig now, this is optional, I just decided to because I figured it would look really zombie-ish if I applied a gray wig. And I also got this at Spirit of Halloween and it was fairly cheap. So yeah, that's pretty much, you know, as far as the wig, that's all I did. And then I applied these contact lenses, they're from Desio Lenses, which I ordered online. They're super creepy. And then I just applied some fake blood and this is by Cinema Secrets. It actually dried a little bit, but it does still look wet. Yeah, that looks pretty gross, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, yeah, so that's it for this Fear the Walking Dead zombie look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was super fun to do. And if you have any more ideas, please comment below. Thank you so much for watching.